Hi everyone, uh, Glenn here from Fairway Financial Advice. Uh, as uh, a lot of you would have been watching uh, with Dan and I, um, we've got here Dan from Small Business uh, um, Edge Small Business um, Consulting, uh, is that we're busting money myths. Um, and then, uh, so today, the money myth is business owners can do everything. So, you know, I can do my bookkeeping, I can keep my website up to date, Dan. Um, I, can keep, I can clean the company cars, it's all good. I can do that. I can, I can do all the, uh, the carpet cleaning around in the, uh, the office. Uh, the issue is, is that you're wearing all these different hats. It, you just, what, you get distracted, hey? Absolutely, Glenn. Um, and look, we all start small. We all start from somewhere where cash yeah. is really tight. So yeah. that's why there's a lot of services there where you can actually do a lot DIY, a lot of your things like websites, um, everything like that. So yep, absolutely. At the start when cash is tight, you've got to get your hands dirty. You've got to get into all that. What we're referring to here is more when we're starting into that growth phase. And what it's hard for a lot of business owners to do is to release the shackles a little bit from um, basically doing everything within the business to have some trust, whether that be delegating to employees or yeah. um, getting advice from people that are professionals. Um, yeah. It's really important that you don't be afraid to do that because that can be a real stunt on business growth. Because the thing is, is that when you're just starting off and you're just, you know, you're just seven days a week, you know, 24 seven, you're just, you're just trying your, your hardest, you've you built up a bit of cash to get out there in the first place to have a go. And you're just trying to save on costs, but also, you know, get some revenue coming in. And I think with that sort of mindset or that mentality for quite some time, then you get this growth, but then you don't realize, well, actually, you know, I've got a bit of surplus cash here that I could actually engage with a bookkeeper or I could actually get my website shushed up. And so it's, um, what do you call it, Dan? Like a value on, um, what is it, a value on? Yeah, so you've got to, you've got to value your time. You have to value your value. time as a, as a business owner. Like, um, whilst you might not do a timesheet and you might think, hey, that four hours I just, I just worked last night, that doesn't matter. But it is because what you're doing is you're not spending time with your family or you're not potentially working on the business in another area that needs you more importantly. One of the biggest, I guess, examples that I see it is where people um, really let a lot of their regulatory requirements go. Um, so around uh, bass lodgement and getting yeah. wages done and, and other things like that. Oh, that super, really con super contributions. Like, you know, if you've got the mandatory super, sometimes if you're an employee of your own business, you can get behind with that, which is not ideal either, hey? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. There's heaps of, of things that, that can happen and they've got adverse consequences because at the end of the day, you will get penalised and, and you've effectively um, almost dropped the ball. So as a recommendation, when you do have that little bit of, of surplus cash, as you mentioned, have a think. What is your time worth? Is it more beneficial for you to pay the money to get to someone to do probably a better job because that's what they do. They're professional in that. Yeah. Um, now, I'm not good at cleaning cars, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just it. It's, it's little things like that 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 will free you up to do other things and, and earn more money potentially, or as a small business owner, probably spend more time with the family, which we never get to do. So, um, oh, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so it's super important to, I guess, it really um, work on value, valuing your time um, yeah. because, yeah, at the end of the day, um, you know, it's, it's, it's really important as you grow to rely on other services. Um, yeah. So just as an example, I guess, um, I've had clients in the past where they might get things like DIY, um, like company constitutions or set up a company online, which you can do, um, and it's quite yeah. cheap um, compared to going to an accountant or a lawyer. Um, yeah. The problem with that is, is the constitution within that company is very generic. It doesn't right. suit your individual situation. So what can happen down the track is when you want to bring more business partners on, or you want to actually ultimately sell the business, they'll yeah. realize that, well, this constitution of this company won't actually allow you to do it. And that's all okay. because you were afraid of spe spending a few, um, a bit of, bit of money up front to get yeah. that constitution that was written specifically for you and your needs. Yeah, so the money myth, uh, Dan, on this occasion is, is basically, yeah, you know, well and good, yeah, wear all the hats at the start, but, you know, you do get sick of that after a while and, and don't be afraid to reach out, 
um, try and find other um, business owners that are successful that know other um, professionals, whether it's bookkeepers, whoever it is, accountants, whatever, and uh, and get that help. And, 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 you know, a lot of professionals, they will give you that time like we do. Hey, Dan, where you can have a bit of a, you know, a cup of tea, a bit of a chat. It's Friday afternoon, a bit of a bit something stronger than a, than a, than a tea. But at the end of the day, just sit down, have a, have a quick look at stuff and uh, and be able to you know, help you out or point you in the right direction. Hey, Dan. Absolutely. And, and I mean, I definitely do. And I know you guys do that at Fairway. Um, you know, it's, it's just about asking us at a, for, a, for a free consultation. We're happy to sit down and, and just discuss if, if what we can offer your business um, is worthwhile. And then if it's not, we just, you know, part ways it's, it's all fine there's no hard feelings but if we can help in any way um yep. that's fantastic and, and another little point i'll add on to that and something that that i've done and glenn i'm sure you've done is seek out a, a mentor as a, as a business owner it can be a pretty yeah, good point. place and it doesn't matter what age or how experienced you are it's always great to have someone that you can swap ideas with that you can i guess lean on um for help because a lot of people are doing it um, themselves and, and they're chatting to people that don't quite understand the industry. So definitely no, that's right. a mentor. Yeah, yeah. totally, mate. No, absolutely. That's a, that's a corker. Yeah, that's a good one. Because at the end of the day is that uh, you have your good days and your bad days, you, your good days or, or your good weeks and your bad weeks. I don't know. Months. <laughs> uh, and so having a mentor to help you out is really important. So thank you everyone for all your time and uh, watching our series. Thank you to you, Dan. You are fantastic, mate. Thank you. And um, <laughs> thanks, yeah, good. Yeah, thanks, no, mate. Good to have a chat. It was definitely good. Yeah, thanks, mate. Thank you. Thanks, mate. See ya.